So in this video, we will study the Bobiold blank reduction which was used to reduce the carbonyl compounds or the esters using sodium metal in ethanol to produce the alcohols. So overall the reaction is this or if we take an ester then on treatment with sodium in ethanol gives two alcohols as the products. So now let's see the mechanism of this reaction. I'm taking ketone as the starting material and as we know the reaction uses sodium metal so electron from the dissolving metal is added to this ketone to form a radical anion which is known as ketyl radical anion this is known as ketyl radical anion and we can represent this ketyl radical anion with the radical on carbon atom and the anion on the other atom or the radical on oxygen and the anion on the carbon atom. So both way we can represent this radical anion. And the behavior of this ketyl radical anion depends on the solvents that they are in. In protic solvents, for example, ethyl alcohol or ethanol, first this ketyl radical anion is protonated. So this is ethanol or ethyl alcohol. So this becomes protonated. And after protonation, it accepts a second electron from the metal, usually sodium in these cases, to form an alkoxide. And at the end of the reaction, this alkoxide on addition of an acid gives the final product that is an alcohol. It is important to note that we are using sodium metal in ethanol, not sodium ethoxide. That is the final product once the sodium has dissolved in ethanol. But in this case, in this reaction, we are using sodium metal in ethanol, which means sodium is dissolving as the reaction takes place since only then the free electrons are available. Now what happens in case of a protic solvent? So what happens in case of a protic solvents such as benzene or ether? In a protic solvents no protons are available. So the concentration of the ketyl radical anion significantly builds up and they start to dimerize but as a dimerization process is an anion anion process so electrostatic repulsion between them uh, prevent them from approaching one another to to overcome that problem magnesium or aluminium metal is used that forms a strong covalent metal oxygen bonds and can coordinate more than one ketyl radical anion at once. So let's take a ketone that is the acetone and using magnesium metal in a protic solvent such as benzene. So as we know first it will form the radical anion, ketyl radical anion 
and after the formation of ketyl radical anion magnesium can coordinate more than one ketyl radical anion at once and once the two ketyls are coordinated to the same metal they react rapidly and finally on addition of an acid gives the final product which is a diol the trivial name of this product is pinacol and the iupac name of this product is 2,3 dimethyl butane 2,3 diol. So, if question arises how to convert acetone to pinacol, then this is the process. Now, let's take an ester, let's say methyl acetate, and the reaction mechanism is same. The same way the reaction occurs. So, electron from the metal, from the dissolving metal is added to form the radical anion and in protic solvents, protons are available. So, Protic solvent is ethyl alcohol, so this becomes protonated Then it accepts a second electron from the metal, usually sodium And again protonation occurs to form this compound. Now what happens? This bond drops and this carbon oxygen bond breaks. So now we have an aldehyde and again the same way the reaction occurs first addition of an electron to form a ketyl radical anion then protonation then it accepts a second electron to form the alkoxide and finally, addition of an acid at the end of the reaction gives the final product that is an alcohol. So overall, this is Hofeld-Blank reduction.